Welcome to June 2016 communication blog entitled Understanding Nightmare Disorder. Hello, I am Judy Nyholm, the Mental Health Outreach Coordinator for Tri County GLAD. Hello, I'm Ricardo Nino, and I am the Community Educator. Hello, I am Adriana Nino, and I am your American Sign Language ASL instructor. I will teach you signs related to nightmare disorders later near the end. What is a nightmare disorder? The Mind Disorder website, minddisorders.com, defines the nightmare disorder, which is also called dream anxiety disorder and characterized by occurrence of repeated dreams during which the sleeper feels threatened and frightened. From the consensus of the resources in conjunction to nightmare disorder, nightmares are vivid, detailed dreams that cause worry or fear. And they occur during the REM, REM, sleep. According to the Mayo Clinic website, mayoclinic.org, the nightmare disorder may start between the ages of three through six, but become more frequent and severe in teens and early adult years. The Mind Disorder website, minddisorders.com, also illustrates that A mental health professional, such as a psychologist or psychiatrist, may diagnose a nightmare disorder when he or she recognizes the repeated instances of a long, very restless, and well-remembered dreams occur that often involve trying to avoid physical harm and safety threats. The person wakes up from a dream and quickly is alert. And the episodes cause distress or interfere with social life, work, or other major daily functions. The Treatment Help website, treatmenthelp.com, includes The nightmare disorder symptoms such as moaning or screaming while asleep, extreme sweating during sleep, waking up with a sudden shudder or jerk, restlessness while sleeping, body pain and laziness in the morning. Rise in body heat while sleeping. Fear of dreams becoming real. What are the risk factors of the nightmare disorder? These risk factors from treatmenthelp.com may include Problems on focusing at work. Low energy levels during the day. Sleep deprivation. Reduced ability to solve problems. Increased irritable behavior. People with nightmare disorder may experience life-threatening risks. 
which may include from the consensus of resources related to this disorder, problems with mental health, increased heartbeat, traumatic stress, death, negative. Hey, how are you? Very tired. Why are you very tired? Geez, I had a really bad dream which occurs often and I remember it so clearly. I am not comfortable talking about it. Oh, I just wanted to know what kind of dream you had. Can you share? Not now. I am still not comfortable talking about it. Positive. Hey, how are you? I'm getting better. You look good. I remember the last time when you were so sleepy. How did you get better? I decided to see a psychologist after I got tired of the recurring nightmare with horrible details what got me up and all awake almost every night. The psychologist gave me a diagnosis, nightmare disorder. Ah, does the therapy help you? Oh yes, she gave me a fabulous technique, which is deep muscle relaxing training. I noticed that it helps reduce the symptoms I had. How can nightmare disorder be treated? Treatmenthelp.org explains that one of the experienced nightmares on a frequent basis. He or she may experience the issues with the healthcare professional, such as a doctor or a psychiatrist. Cognitive behavioral therapy, CBT, medication, and deep muscle relaxation training. are some of the treatment strategies. All in all, the nightmare disorder is an ongoing process. These words are associated with nightmare. So let's sign these words together in American Sign Language, ASL. Nightmare. Nightmare. Restlessness. Restlessness. Reoccurring. Reoccurring. Threaten. Threaten. Stress. Stress. Frightened. Frightened. Anxiety. Anxiety. Sweating. Sweating. Focus. Focus. Deprivation. Deprivation. Function. Function. Energy. Energy. Counseling. Counseling. We would like to thank Tri County Glad, Life Signs and Interpreting Referral Service, 
Night Home Art Studio for our vlog editing and captions. And Ventura County Behavioral Health, BCBH, for their ongoing support. Happy summer, and see you next time.